I often get asked whether I have any ideas that people can use to improve their walking. And I've got one really useful Alexander Technique exercise that always seems to help. Whether you feel that your posture is poor when you walk, or that you tend to drag your feet, that you find walking uncomfortable, or just a bit heavy on your feet, give it a try and see if you find it useful too. I'm Pete Robinson from movementandposture.com, and I teach Alexander Technique both online and in the real world. I release new videos each Sunday based on questions from my students on my courses or from comments on my YouTube videos. If you're interested in improving your posture, movements and performance, then subscribe and ding the notification bell. In this video, I'm going to guide you through a really effective Alexander Technique exercise. You don't need any previous Alexander Technique experience to give it a try, but if the ideas in this video are totally new to you, you may benefit from watching a few other videos on this channel first. I'll link to a playlist of introductory videos above now. As with all my videos, we're aiming to increase awareness of any habits that you may have developed and then prevent them from happening so that more natural movements can return. I'm not going to tell you the correct way of walking because everyone is different and there's a huge variety in the way that we can walk without causing ourselves problems. What we're going to do is to stick to the principles of keeping balance and avoiding compressing or fixing the body. The thing I love about this exercise is that we're going to trick your body into allowing a better way of moving. The way that we'll do this is to first walk backwards. Here's how it works. Most of the problems that we experience with walking tend to come about by the movement including elements of forward and downward compression, which pulls us out of balance. If we walk in a way that includes this downward forward element, it's easy to develop heavy footsteps. Each step can become an impact that affects the ankles, knees, hips and back. If our balance is tipped forwards in this way, it also means that we develop excess tension throughout our body and it's more difficult to lift our feet properly, so there's a greater chance of tripping or stumbling. So, to get ourselves to experience walking without these habits, we'll take a step backwards. Because this is much less habitual than walking forwards, we have a really good chance of being able to allow the movement to happen in a coordinated way. The body moves whilst maintaining balance, expansion and freedom. Once this is established, we then reverse the movement and walk forwards. And if all has gone well, the improved balance and coordination continues and we don't return to our habitual way of moving. Normally, this would be taught by an Alexander Technique teacher who would use their hands to guide the movement and help you make the changes to your balance and coordination. So, if you get a chance to work one-on-one -on -one with a qualified teacher in this way, I highly recommend it. But let's give it a go. I'm going to guide you through the whole process. I'll also make an MP3 of the talk through if you want to use it without the video. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. As this exercise will start from a standing position, if you feel that you need a bit of work on your standing posture first, I'll link to a video above now that you may find useful. Start from a balanced standing position. Feet roughly parallel and under your hip joints. Weight evenly spread across the two legs and weight evenly spread across the tripod of each foot, your heel, your little toe and your big toe. Let your head be balanced up over the support from the feet and decide to let the weight of your head and body release through the legs, through the feet and into the ground. You're allowing the ground to fully support you, which allows your body to release and expand upwards and outwards. Slowly, take your head and body up over the support of your right foot. When the left leg is completely empty, take a tiny step backwards with your left foot without disturbing your balance or alignment. Now, without losing balance or tightening up anywhere, take your weight back, up and over the support from this left foot until your right leg is empty. Now, without disturbing your balance, take a very small step backwards with your right foot Again, take your weight back and up over the support of the right foot. Now, keeping balance, refusing to stiffen up anywhere 
and allowing your whole body to expand upwards and outwards. Take your weight forwards and up over the left foot. Allow your right foot to swing through and continue to walk forwards. Allowing the body to freely expand upwards and outwards, keeping in balance and refusing to stiffen up. Hopefully you are able to use the small steps backwards to get yourself out of your habitual way of moving, so that when you switch to moving forwards, you are able to make the movement without all your usual habits coming back. If you managed it, you may have noticed that your walking became lighter or smoother. You may need to try this a couple of times to get the hang of it, and you can take more steps backwards first if you feel that that would help. And of course, the more you practice it, the better chance you have of making real changes to your habits. I found this exercise really useful for improving my walking. As I got better at the Alexander technique, I quickly noticed that walking felt more fluid and comfortable, and also that my footsteps became much quieter. If you're interested in more videos about Alexander technique and walking, then let me know in the comments below. As always, if you have any questions, comments or suggestions for future topics, then also leave those below. And if you found this video useful, then hit the like button so that I know I'm on the right track. I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.